Now, as promised, here are the top three mistakes to avoid when considering breast augmentation surgery. Mistake number one, skipping the consultation. A consultation with a cosmetic surgeon is important. Don't skip this step. During a consultation, you'll discuss your goals, your concerns, ask questions, review before and after photos. This will help you make an informed decision and avoid mistake number two. Virtual consults over the phone or with pictures with a patient coordinator or non-physician are inadequate and can't compare to the personalized evaluation and recommendations to a cosmetic surgeon. In fact, a virtual consultation is like trying to put together a puzzle without a picture on the box. You might get lucky and end up with something that resembles what you wanted, but chances are you'll be left with a bunch of mismatched pieces and a headache. Mistake number two is not having realistic expectations. Now, don't get me wrong. The surgery can definitely enhance your appearance and give you a boost in confidence, but it's important to understand that it has its limits. For example, depending on the shape and position of your breasts, you may need a lift at the same time as your augmentation for optimal results. And just a heads up, your left and right breasts will never exactly be the same. Think of them as sisters, not twins. We can get them close, but never expect them to be identical. It's also important to note that the position of your entire breast on your chest wall won't change, and the basic shape and configuration of your breasts will be similar to what they look like now, just bigger. So if your breasts are naturally far apart, they're still going to be far apart after surgery. This won't change. It's the breast footprint. Cosmetic surgery isn't magic, but it definitely can give you a more youthful, shapely appearance. Just make sure you set realistic expectations during that consult. Don't miss the consult. Trust me, it's better to be honest and upfront about your goals than to be disappointed later on. Mistake number three, not disclosing your smoking history. Hey, if you're considering breast augmentation surgery, it's important to make sure you're upfront with your surgeon and your smoking history. Smoking can really impact the healing process and increase the risk of complications like infections, skin necrosis, implant loss, capsular contracture, plus it can affect the final result of the surgery. Some surgeons may require patients to quit smoking for a certain period of time before and after the surgery to reduce these risks. So make sure you share your smoking history with your surgeon so they can make the best decisions for you and address any potential risks. And by the way, most surgeons do nicotine testing the day of the surgery. So if you're not honest about your smoking habits, you may get your surgery canceled without a refund. So it's definitely worth being upfront about this. Making the decision to get a breast augmentation surgery can be a big deal, but with the right surgeon and a solid understanding of what to expect, it can be hugely successful and rewarding procedure. I hope this video has given you all the info you need to make an informed choice. If you have any additional questions or want to schedule a consultation with me, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, let me know in the comments what topics you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.